Boom. This is Fallen Yashua. Welcome again to the Rock. It's that time. I sold these last year and I sold out extremely fast. <laughs> these are Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes. And they will be for sale starting next week. Um, let's see. There's one of my little tubers right there. I just pulled back this soil. Um, hallelujah. They are doing well. Uh, one thing I want to tell you is Jerusalem Art Trucks will spread. Uh, I started them here last year. And I thought I pulled them all up. And as you can see, well, the tubers could be so small, it's almost impossible to get every tuber out of the ground and they will come back. This is after, this little garden right here is after I thought I pulled them all out. And you can see how many I missed. But they are going to be for sale. Um, Jerusalem artichokes are extremely high in fiber and in iron. They also have vitamins that you're going to need for your body, minerals. Also, uh, that will give you gas. <laughs> so <laughs> prepare yourself. Now, there is a way to cook them to get the gas off, uh, to get the to to not make them not make you have as much gas. Also, as you can see, Malabar spinach seeds. I've had a lot of people ask for these, the Malabar spinach seeds. So the purple ones are ready. I'll be pulling them off soon. But all these are Malabar spinach seeds. And one thing about Malabar spinach seeds, or Malabar spinach as a whole, is when you plant it, if you let it grow, and then, uh, like right now, we had a freeze, and as you can see, most of the greens, well, the children pulled them all off, and they died back. If you were just to let this fall on the ground, harvest some seeds maybe for next year, but let this fall, you're going to have a bounty the next year. I started off with, I think, like five seeds that I got to germinate. And this is what I got. So much so that I'm building a much bigger trellis next year for them. Um, Malabar spinach, look at what it's good for. I mean, the nutrient value and content in Malabar spinach is amazing. Um, getting them started is a little bit difficult. You know, there is that pulp. I don't know if you can see. It's like a berry. There's a pulp that you have to pull off. And then you want to scarify the seed, which is, you know, a nick it with the file or I did with a knife. Because you want to kind of, you want to kind of scratch the seed. Once you pull the pulp off, you want to scratch the seed. And I soak mine for 24 hours um, to let the water get into the seed. Otherwise, you know, it could be, it could be some time, but either way, you're going to get Malabar spinach. You know, it will, the seed, the water will eventually penetrate and get into the seed. It just takes some time. Hallelujah. Harvested all of our tomatoes here. Um, next year I'll be doing squash here, I think, but I wanted to show you some more Malabar. I mean, uh, uh, drew some artichokes. This whole area next year, going all back there, will be all drew some artichokes. But we had so many extra that we decided to move over here and plant them, and they did an absolutely great job. So if you're looking for drew some artichokes, also if you're looking for uh, El um, Malabar spinach seeds. Let me know. Send me a message. Also, I will be propagating from cuttings elderberries this year. So if you're looking for elderberries, those will probably be ready closer to spring. Uh, spring. Yeah, spring. So if you're looking for elderberries, I will be having those as well. As well as I will be propagating figs. Um, the fig trees are doing well. So if you're looking for any of those, you know, I also have my mint cuttings. If you're looking for mint, I have chocolate mint, spearmint, peppermint, and uh, sweet mint. Uh, so, I mean, I got an abundance of pepper seeds. So if you're looking for seeds, you know, send me a message. Let me know. Here's the figs. This is their last year. So next year, I'll actually be able to eat them. Hallelujah. You can see how many there are. We had to freeze, so the leaves are dying back. But I'll be propagating 
uh, figs from cuttings. Hallelujah. So if you are looking for seeds, if you're looking for uh, an eggplant, I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, there's some more over there. They're a smaller form of eggplant. Very good, very tender. But if you're looking for Malabar spinach right now, any mint cuttings, uh, Jerusalem artichokes, I have pepper seeds, although many of them are drying, so you have to give me about a week for those. Um, green beans, climbing green beans, snake green beans. Um, send me a message and I'll correspond with you that way. And then uh, let me know what you want. I'll get you the price. You send the funds. I send the order. Um, and I usually send a little bit of extra seeds so that you can uh, share them with others. Because I do believe that this is the key. This is one of the biggest keys for preservation. As food prices go up, you want to be able to grow your own food. And especially a prepper food like a Jerusalem artichoke, once you plant it, it'll take over the area. So you'll always have a high uh, carbohydrate dense, fiber dense, iron dense food that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to dig it up. You don't have to, uh, you can leave it in the ground and just eat it as you need it. You know, you want some Jerusalem artichokes, you go, you harvest some, you eat them. Um, there's many ways that people prepare them. You can look online for that. Uh, but it's just a calorie, uh, uh, carb dense food that you can have. And then, you know, your, your body needs minerals. Your body needs those vitamins for uh, you to survive, for you to be healthy, for you to live. So just an idea if you're looking. All right. The email will be in the description if you're looking for some. Uh, don't be afraid <coughs> to ask uh, what I have. I am going to do a website. Um, it's just taking some time. I thought I was going to have it up already. Uh, other things kind of jumped ahead that I had to get done. So uh, we'll be getting that done as well. All right. Bless you all. Have a blessed, bless Shabbat. Shalom.